So in this latest video looking at logarithms, we'll be looking at how to change bases of logarithms. Now when bases are not mentioned, it is fair to assume that they will be the same as all the other logs in the expressional equation or set to base 10. However, in order to simplify expressions or equations involving logs by using the laws of logs, the bases must be the same. But what if they are not? So for example, let's say we we're asked to simplify log to the base 2, 4 plus log to the base 4, 2. Now here we can't actually simplify this particular expression in its current form simply because the bases are not the same. So here we've got a 2 and a 4. Now if I had log 2 of 4 plus log 2 of 6, then I could simplify that as log 2 and it'll be 4 times 6 and that won't be a problem. But because these bases are different, I can't usually refer to the laws of logs to simplify this particular expression. So, to, in order to change the base of a logarithm to whatever base you're wanting, so let's say you want to change to the base of n, then what I can do is I can split the original log with the base of a to the b, and I can use this particular fraction. Now, this is definitely commonly used in typical examples, very similar to the one that we saw previously, and one purpose, if there is no mention of a particular base that they're wanting you to change it to, is to know these particular principles of the log laws. So for example, log to the base of a, a um, of a will equal 1, log a to the base of 1 will equal 0, and log a to the a of to the power of n, or the n will move to the front, and then log a to the a will just simply equal 1. And so all you're left with is n, and that's one way of simplifying a particular expression in order for you to go on to solve a potential uh, log equation. So let's have a look at putting this into practice with regards to a question. So in this particular question it says show how log to the base 4 of 36 can be written as log to the base 2 of 6. So first of all what we're going to do is going to look at this and I can write log 4 of 36. Now one thing I notice is that I can write 36 as a power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as log 4 of 6 squared and I could then write that as now from this now I'm not going to go to, straight towards moving the 2 to the front because I might just complicate things well, not really but again we'll just go from this so from this because I'm wanting a base of 2 so I'm going to go for a base of 2 so how I can rewrite this is log of 6 squared of 2 over log 2 of the original base which was 4. Now in this current format what I can then do is take the 2 over to the front so here I've got 2 log 2 of 6 and there's not much else I can do with the um, top however with this I can actually change 4 or just write this here so I can write log 2 of 2 squared and then I can take that 2 to the front which then gives me 2 log 2 of 2 and then log 2 uh, log base 2 of 2 is just going to equal 1 so all I'm left with is 2 and then therefore the 2's cancel out so what I'm left with is log to the base 2 of 6 and that is what they've asked me to prove. Now moving on to our next example so here it says given that log 2 of x or log base of 2 of x I say plus 2 log uh, base 4 of y equals 4 explain why x y equals 16 so again from this what we're going to do is now we're going to try and talk about changing the bases so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and work with this one here now ideally what I'm trying to do is get the bases the same so I'm going to try and get this I'm going to convert this so the base is 2 so from this what I can then do is I've got log 2 log of 4y and what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all take the 2 to the front and so move it along so it's attached to y again so log uh, 4 of y squared now from this I'm then going to use that formula to convert this into so I've got log of 2 which is going to be my new base of y squared over log 2 of 4 which is the original base now again very very similar to what I did before I'm going to change this so let me just work with the two fractions so let's go with this one first so I've got log 2 of 2 squared 
I'm going to take the 2 and move it to the front. So what I've got is 2 log 2, 2. Then I can change this, which all adds up to 1. So ultimately, that's just going to equal 2. And what I've got, then if I take this power and move that to the front, what I end up with, and if I just move that here, I'm going to end up with 2 log 2 of y. So from this, if I join this and this together, then what I end up with is, let's go for a different colour, let's go for one that you can actually be able to see, let's go for so what I end up with is 2 log 2 of y over 2, in which then the 2's cancel out, so all I'm left with is log base 2 of y. So going back to the original equation, what we've got is we've got log 2 of x plus log 2 of y equals 4. Well, I can then combine that to log 2 of x y equals 4. And then from this, what I can then do is, if you remember converting the logs of what this actually means, it means 2 to base uh, base 2 of power 4 equals xy, therefore xy equals 2 to the power 4, which is 16. And there, I've gone to prove it. So these are just two of the examples of where you may need to change the bases of a particular logarithm to make it easier for you to then go on and simplify.